everybody, this is Burnage, and this is my Chrono Trigger walkthrough, and today we're going to be doing Hecarim Cave. So you walk in, you run into these dudes, these dudes are pretty weak, so there's no need to, like, use magic, because most of the shit in this cave is, like, magic is the only way to get through them. Alright, dual take fire punch, but... First couple guys are really weak. No need to use magic on them. I think there's an ether in this chest. And then can't get around that. I advise killing the pot first. Cause they fucking hurt. And use magic as well for that. They steal lots of HP. And laser spin with Robo. I recommend just laser spin with Robo every fucking fight. Laser spin rapes face in here. It's so good. Of course, you're gonna blow through Robo's man with mana like retarded quake, but it's worth it. Shit hurts. Alright, level up for Robo. Making that laser spin hurt that much more. Then these guys, these guys are resistant to physical attacks, so just lightning one and... I'm gonna wait for Luca to fire the other. Robo a little rest, make sure he has enough MP to make it through this place. Damn it, stuck on the fucking wall there. So when you come down to this room, in here we can get a scarf that increases magic, so that's kind of nice. Just gonna attack, I guess. This robo is just gonna kill them all the laser spins, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Robo's just a machine. Quite literally. A machine. These guys, however, are a little stronger. They won't go down from one one little laser spin, so I'm gonna wait for Robo. And we're going to dual tech rocket roll. I think this will kill all three of them in a hit. Magic Scarf, which I will equip to Luca right away. Honestly, if you don't want to equip that, it's not a big deal, because this is like the only place, in my opinion, that's really that good. It'll just help a lot with Hecarim when we get to him. This is another one where we're just going to wait for... Robo, so we can rocket roll the group and just kill them all. Robo is just such a boss in this place. I think he's the best character overall. He's just got so much, so many different abilities. He can do lots of damage to one target later in the game. He can do good damage to all targets. Stool techs are great. He can heal. Later he'll be able to heal everybody. It's ridiculous. And again, just gonna fucking attack. Got nothing better to do. Robo's just gonna take care of everything. No laser spin. Big Daddy Robo. Make the bad guys go away. Alright, more 
bats means I'm waiting for Robo to do rocket roll. We'll be getting more speed tabs for that motherfucker. He's slow as shit. One shot everything. If you do this place right, it's so easy. Dang it. I was hoping to get around that shit. Lightning on the pot. Get that shit out of the way. I feel like I'm blazing through this place. I don't want to, like, take any chances. Uh, fuck. Laser spin. That's what I want. Just be laser spinning all over on me. So then you run through this watery area, and this takes you to a safe point, which we are going to use a shelter at, because we used a lot of mana getting through this place, and health. And I'm going to go ahead and end my video here. It feels like I tore through this place like a fucking madman, but I shouldn't, I probably don't have enough time for Hecarin, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.